today we are at Northwest Early Elementary with Superintendent Jeff Bontrager and first grade teacher Morgan Ledford and is this a new student Morgan? Yeah this is Miggs he's new here he's only been here a couple days but yeah he's a facility dog. So this is something new the board recently approved the addition of dogs to the Northwest District. Yeah, we are very excited about it. And I, I first want to give big kudos to our Board of Education for approving this part. But uh, Morgan Ledford uh, here, uh, phenomenal first grade teacher. Uh, she was working uh, in her, towards her master's degree um, and therapy dogs were brought up. Now, what's been interesting about this is with some research that uh, Morgan started out uh, pursuing, uh, we found that uh, Brighton Schools and um, uh, Grand Ledge uh, were really quite uh, quite a ways along the path of, of, of doing this. So they uh, really kind of help us uh, to, hey, how does this work? Uh, is this something that we'd be interested in and so on? So what this comes down to is our, our board approved eight uh, dogs and they're called facility dogs because the district owns them. However, we go through an interview process for folks that are interested in being facilitators, which uh, Morgan, that's an example of uh, a facilitator. So we're very excited about this. And, you know, coming out of COVID, uh, it's been tough times. We know that there's many, not only kids and adults with some um, social emotional uh, needs like never before. Uh, and, and this is a, a proven uh, commodity as far as working with the, with the dogs in schools. Uh, I appreciate, the, again, the support of the Board of Education from the standpoint, they understand that our schools themselves are quite large in student population. So um, we uh, presented to them to the possibility of getting two uh, dogs uh, per building, uh, and they improve, approved that, and we're excited to move forward. And Morgan, you're going to be one of the two dogs handlers here at Early Elementary. So what does that involve? Um, Migs and I go to training every week, um, every Thursday up in Lansing. And, um, you know, after he's certified, it'll be about a year, maybe 14 months. Then he'll be certified and he'll come to school with me every day um, and visit with the kids and help out as needed. So. People have um, seen therapy dogs um, like at the airport and, you know, helping people navigate. How, do, how, is, the, how is Migs going to uh, help the kids here? Um, you know, a lot of just being in the presence of a dog makes it feel a little bit more like home. Um, and we've talked about uh, as far as like our kids reading, they feel much more comfortable reading to a dog than somebody else when they're learning to read. The dogs don't judge, they're, <laughs> they're just animals, they love you unconditionally. Yeah. And Mix, so far he seems just to like lying there. Does he do any <laughs> tricks? Yeah, he does some tricks. Um, Mix, Mix, sit. Yes. He can shake, yes. He can high five, 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 yes. Wow. He's pretty chill. Yeah. Yep. Can you do any? I, uh, <laughs> you know, I can jump a little bit. Um, I can do a high five. You know, Bart, uh, seriously, it was, I, I found it personally very interesting when, when uh, Canines for Change, uh, came to Northwest and we toured every building. Uh, and I would say uh, Kelly Gregel and myself were with them uh, in every building. And what we found was very interesting is that they had a huge immediate impact in every single building. You know, in my mind, I thought, wow, this is gonna be, this can be a great thing for, for the early L and the elementary. But what we found is, in a different way, it was as impactful and powerful uh, in the middle school and high school. And that's really when we thought, you know, this is, this is not just a one building thing or one age level thing. This is right across the board. And what we have found, um, even with the, the, the dogs, when they visited, they, it's a calming sense. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kids at the early L that they had a hard time not running in hallways and that kind of thing. 
just immediately started walking and, and talking to the dogs. Um, just that presence, even up at the high school level, of a calming presence. So um, I was able to witness just in a short amount of time, in a visit, the, how impactful and powerful this is having, having these dogs here. And, and like Morgan pointed out, this is a process and they're highly trained, um, but we're very excited about this. We uh, all think, you know, kids are really resilient, but have you seen, you know, with COVID and, uh, you know, the, the unrest and the war and uh, uh, sh school shootings, kids, are, are they more on edge? Are they, are they more stressed? Um, I think so. I think that we see a lot of that with like test scores and things like that of um, students having test anxiety and things like that. Um, and I, especially in this building, we see it as like behavior wise um, mm -hmm. students, you know, acting out and not wanting to listen. And it's a lot. It's a lot to be here yeah. every day and, um, you know, follow school rules. And some kids haven't ever had that. So what kind of dog is Migs? Miggs is a golden noodle, so part golden okay. retriever, part poodle. And he's just a baby, right? Yes, he is almost 16 weeks old. And they have to be, like, from brand new uh, puppies in order to be trained. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. I got him when he was 10 weeks old. So. Now, do you continue, are you participating in the tr training, too? Do you, like, take him home and yep. all that? Yeah, he trains with me. I take him to training every week. He comes, he stays at my house. I take mm -hmm. care of him. <laughs> That whole thing, you know? <laughs> it's quite the commitment. And what many people don't understand is it's not something that the board approves and poof, they're here in the classrooms. Uh, many times they still have not been born yet. So once, once the, the dog, a litter of dogs are uh, available, golden doodles, um, then it's the process of, of assigning to a handler. Handlers. Uh, I have to give it to uh, all of our handlers. I mean, this is a 10-year commitment. Uh, it's a commitment to go to training weekly. It's a commitment with, they are with the dogs. When the, when the dog's work day is over, they go home as well. So, um, th so the dogs learn how tiring education can be. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Now, the dog, uh, very uh, fluffy and stuffed animal-ish is, is the uh, is the breed chosen because of you know how they are? You, you wouldn't like expect to see a Great Dane be very uh, right. comforting in a school setting. Right, they are chosen based on like temperament, um, and a lot of uh, golden doodles are chosen because they're hypoallergenic. Um, mm -hmm. But there's some labs, um, but it's most mostly based on temperament and things mm -hmm. like that. Can he participate in sports? Have you got him signed up for any of the Mountie teams here? <laughs> Uh, you know, maybe track, you know, and I think possibly hurdles, uh, they'd be uh, just phenomenal at, so, yeah. He could collect tennis balls for yeah. tennis, oh, yeah. yeah. He, he likes well, tennis yeah. balls. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Bar, bar, don't you think uh, Megs would look great in a red and black? Go Mounties. Go Mounties. All right. He could be. He could be the Mas He could be the Mountie. He could lead the marching band even. Yeah, he could. Yep. So what's going to happen in the summer when the kids aren't here? Um, he'll stay with me. He will. We'll still go to training every week. Um, hopefully, we'll be out and about in the northwest area, um, places that will accept a uh, facility dog in training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do lots of training. Have there been any uh, incidents? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. You know, it's it, it's interesting because these dogs are so highly trained. Like like Morgan mentioned, this is a Migs is only a few days in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so he, when he comes and visits, it's only for an hour or two um, until he, again, gets continuous training. And also, old enough, you know, he's a puppy right now and gets, it gets tired out. But once these, all eight of these dogs are in place, they are going to be just part of the fabric, not only throughout a school day, but after school, after school events, whether they're elementary events, sporting events, band, um, homecoming could be an example of that. So um, we're really excited that uh, they're really going to be a, a key part to our, to, to us at Northwest. So Sometimes kids have to take home the, the classroom salamander or the rabbit for the weekend. Well, the 
kids won't be taking home eggs? No, they will not. <laughs> nope. Okay. He gonna, comes home with me. Gonna put Migs uh, through one more test here, Jeff. Okay. We are Northwest. <laughs> Go Mounties. <laughs>